Till now we have completed the identities of regular expressions and we have also studied Arden's theorem and in this lecture we will be trying to prove a regular expression that is given here. So it says that prove that this is equal to this. So these are two regular expressions and the first one is 1 plus 0 0 star 1 plus 1 plus 0 0 star 1 0 plus 1 0 star 1 star 0 plus 1 0 star 1 and we have to prove that this is equal to 0 star 1 0 plus 1 0 star 1 and the whole star. Okay, so how do we do this? We'll first take the LHS. So the LHS is equal to this one. So let me write this down 1 plus 0 0 star 1 plus 1 plus 0 0 star 1 0 plus 1 0 star 1 the whole star and 0 plus 1 0 star 1. Okay, so now if you see here you see that this term 1 plus 0 0 star 1 is repeated here 1 plus 0 0 star 1. So we see that here we have this term, here also we have this term. So what I can do, I can take this as a common. So let me take this as common. 1 plus 0, 0 star 1. I take it as common. So if I take it as common, what do I get? Here, once it is taken as common, this becomes epsilon. And plus, so this is taken out. It's over here. And these two terms are remaining. So let me write these two terms. 0 plus 1, 0 star 1 star and 0 plus 1 0 star 1. Okay, now if you look at this expression, you see that these two terms are the same. 0 plus 1 0 star 1, here also it is 0 plus 1 0 star 1. And over here we have a star. Now if you recall the identities that we have studied, we have already studied that epsilon plus r star r is equal to r star right where r is any regular expressions so here if you consider this as r you see that it is like r star r so this whole thing can be replaced by 0 plus 1 0 star 1 whole star if we consider this as a r so we'll do that now so i'll take this down as it is 0, 0 star 1 and this whole thing can be replaced by only this much star using this identity that we have already learned. So I can write 0 plus 1 0 star 1 whole star. Okay, now we are left with these two expressions. Now what I will do is here I will write epsilon into 1 plus 0 0 star 1 and this term let me just write it as it is. 0 plus 1 0 star 1 star. Now why did I do this? I have this term I have just written it down here and I have added an epsilon symbol. This is another identity that we have studied. Epsilon r is equal to r. If you just have epsilon before r that is still equal to r. We have studied this identity before so I am applying it here. I am just putting an epsilon before this expression. So even if I put an epsilon here, it is still equal to this. So I can write this as this one. Okay, now after I write this, from this expression, I am going to take out epsilon and 0, 0 star as common. Epsilon plus 0, 0 star, I am taking it as common. Epsilon plus 0, 0 star. I am taking this out. And what will be left if I take this out? From here, epsilon is already out and 0, 0 star is already also out. So the only thing that is left is 1. So I am left with 1. And this one, let me just copy it down as it was. 0 plus 1, 0 star, 1 star. Okay. And now, this one, if you look at this, this again follows this identity. Epsilon plus r star r. Where r is 0 over here. So how can I write this? Instead of this, I can just write this as 0 star because r is 0 over here and we see we get r star here. So we will get 0 
star over here and this one is as it is and this term also as it is 0 plus 1 0 star 1 star okay so now we are getting this and if you check it with the RHS it is exactly the same 0 star 1 0 plus 1 0 star 1 star 0 star 1 0 plus 1 0 star 1 whole star so this is equal to our RHS so this is how we prove this expressions and this is how you have to use the identities in order to solve this kind of questions if you get. I hope this was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.